So I try to remember to like leave on the sticker daily. So anyway, I got the sticker daily off. So here it is. Hey guys, welcome back. So I've got my January Ipsy bag here for you today. So as always, I've gone ahead and opened up this bag and tried out the products inside. So I'll be able to give you some little mini reviews on them and just tell you my thoughts and opinions. So let's jump into it. So it looks like the theme this month is eyes. It says all eyes on you. You're a knockout. Keep your eyes on the prize. From must have products to prettify your peepers like the Balm's Cult Fave Eyeliner to on the go beauty essentials, January is all about a seriously standout look. So that's the theme. So this is the bag this month. So it's definitely not my favorite that we've received, but I do still kind of like it because it's kind of very like Andy Warhol pop art kind of looking. I think it's still cute, but I mean, I like others that we've received better. So let's see what's inside. Okay, so first off, I got a lotion. This is the Mitchell and Peach English Growers English Leaf Body Cream. So I used this just kind of on my hands the other night just to try it out. And it's nice. I mean, it's fine. It's, it works. It's a body cream. As far as the scent, it's kind of like a, a clean leafy smell. Yeah, I think it's okay. I mean, it's a fresh sort of a scent, but not my favorite scent. I think it's just okay. But I mean, body products, I don't know. I have a ton of body creams, so it's fine. It's okay. It's not a bad product, but I'm gonna pass it on to somebody else. Then I got a mascara. This is by that cute little brand, Jelly Pong Pong. This is the Fairy Lashes Curl Mascara. So I tried this the other day, and I don't like this mascara. Um, it just... I've liked products from them, from Jelly Pong Pong, that we've received in the past, but this one is just, I don't know, it's, I don't even know if you probably can't see it, but it's very goopy, like when you pull it out, it almost has like a string of like goop attached to it, and, which is fine if it works, but I just didn't find that it really gave any volume, it really didn't seem to build on itself very well, I think because it's that kind of like, strange, stringy, goopy sort of a formula. It's like it's sticking the lashes together versus like separating them and building lashes onto, you know what I mean? Like some mascaras really build on themselves and make you look like you have more lashes. This is almost like clumping the lashes together because it's that goopy, sticky formula. So I'm really not a fan of this. This is kind of a fail too. Now we're getting into some things that I do like. This is the Purely Say Blue Lotus 4-in-1 I Adore Serum. It says intensive hydration, plus firms, plus brightens, plus decrease, puffiness, all skin types. So I used this a couple of times. It's a nice eye serum. Like it seemed to um, really give good hydration on the eyes. Like it feels nice on the eyes. Um, it blended well. It's kind of like, I mean, it's that serum sort of a texture to it. So it's kind of in between a gel and a cream. Um, but I do really like it. It seemed like it worked well. Of course, something like this is gonna take time before you're really gonna see like what it's doing and the results from it. But just first application, well, I use this a couple of times. So initial trying it out, I do really like this. Then I got an eyeshadow, which I'm always really excited about. This is the Marsk Sydney London Mineral Eyeshadow. And this is in the color Your Toast which is a cute name, like you are toast. This is kind of like a coppery sort of a color. So I used this um, yesterday and it's really pretty. It's kind of like a golden coppery sort of a shade. It built on itself nicely. Now it did seem to fade a little bit throughout the day. So probably next time I use this, I'll use like a glitter glue or something to really give it something better to stick to. Let me get this swatched. Okay, so here it is. I had to get past the little sifter cover thingy, which I've learned the hard way to keep on the little plasticky cover dealy because when you don't, sometimes mineral eyeshadows or pigments can get like really super duper messy. So I try to remember to like leave on the sticker dealy. So anyway, I got the sticker Dealy off. So here it is. <laughs> it's a really pretty, just golden, coppery sort of a pigment. I really, really do like it. What did it say? It's technically a mineral, mineral eyeshadow. Yes, a mineral eyeshadow. So I think it's a pretty shade. It just needs something to stick to, I think because it's more of a mineral shadow, which I found that across the board with other mineral shadows that I've used is that they don't 
seem to last as long or adhere as well. So I would say just give it a really good base to stick it to and I think you'll have better luck with it. But I do really like the color. And lastly, I got an eyeliner from The Balm. This is Mr. Right Now, like you're writing, Mr. Right Now eyeliner pencil and this is in the shade Jack. And I really do like this a lot. It's kind of just a, I don't know, ugly sort of olive green kind of a shade. But it's one of those ugly colors that ends up being really cool and really beautiful on the eyes. Kind of like an old gold sort of a look. I really do love these sort of shades. And this is a really nice formula. Like I wore this the other day on my eyes and it really did stick around for a good amount of time. I didn't notice a lot of smudging or fading or anything like that. So it seems very long wearing. Um, and I just really like this color a lot. Like, I don't know. You know those old gold sort of colors that when you look at them swatched are like a so quiche. This would be really pretty with so quiche from ColourPop. It's kind of like, I don't know, doesn't look that exciting in a swatch, but when you get them on your eyes, really, really beautiful. So I like this a lot. Okay, so that's everything that I got in my bag this month. I would say that overall this bag was just sort of okay. Um, I do really like the liner. I do really like the eye serum. The eyeshadow's pretty good. Um, the lotion's just kind of like, I don't really need another lotion. And the mascara is definitely a, not a fan. So overall, it was just kind of okay. But I still do really love Ipsy. I always look forward to it. $10 a month. I always get excited to see that little pink envelope in my mailbox. So it always makes me smile. So if you want to sign up for Ipsy, I will leave my link down below. No pressure whatsoever to use my link. But if you do, thank you so much. I would love to know what you got in your Ipsy bag this month. Let me know that down below. Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.